Actually, more blue skies, at least for the morning portion of day 814. Welcome. It's 1049. Class starts in 11 minutes. Hopefully traffic isn't too bad. I've got to get through the city. And of course, the one day where I am running a few minutes late, there's a train. I've never seen a train on these tracks before, but we just got hung up for a minute here. Oh, I like that color. Well done, buddy. Just backing into the middle of the road here. That's okay. Nobody's trying to get by. Oh, it doesn't get old. Holy crap, it's decent enough to go out for a walk. Headphones and I can't really hear anything, but uh, it was supposed to cloud over earlier and it actually hasn't, at least not completely. It's probably only 34 degrees, but in the sun it's, it's very conducive to walking. This will look a lot nicer in four to 48 weeks when leaves come out, but right now it's a pleasant departure from the snowy parking lot to actually come out here and uh, take a little hike before class in about 15 minutes. Well, you know what this means. It's warm enough and still surprisingly sunny enough to get the car cleaned up a little bit. There's like 30% um, chance of snow showers early tomorrow, like pre-9 a.m., but I don't have to leave here until uh, actually about 1.30, so I'm hoping that by then um, there won't be an issue. But anyways, it's covered in salt and it's disgusting, so it's going to be another one of these midwinter cleanups. It's really not cold out here. I mean, it's 40. 40 is cold, but it doesn't feel like it in the sun. It's the San Diego principle. If it's sunny, temperature doesn't matter as much. Okay, it is uh, 5.59, 6 o'clock, and uh, we actually did a pretty good job. Washed, soaked, rinsed, and then dried by hand using the towels on top, on top of the trash can. So it actually looks really nice. I'm impressed with the shine in the paint from the Zeno over the winter. It actually looks really nice. It'd be better if I were outside and better light. But there's a couple spots that really don't feel... Actually, that feels pretty good. But below this black strip, it doesn't feel too great. So I think we're done with most of the salt and snow this year. We'll definitely be getting the spring coat on here pretty soon. Uh, didn't detail the inside of the exhaust, but I did clean up the outside, did the wheels by hand, and uh, I actually have the rubber mats out. And over there, I'm going to take them up in the bathtub and clean the salt off. The back ones aren't bad. There's only been a few people right back there. It isn't perfect, so it's getting done. But that's what the front one looks like. Welcome back, guys. It's 3 o'clock, 2.51 in the morning. Car is obviously done, and um, I didn't actually feel my back hurting until about now. That usually happens after I do any bit of work on the car. Anyhow, I ended up using the, uh, the clay bar. I don't know if I talked about this or not. I used the clay bar from Zeno to take out, definitely not the whole car, just little pieces I noticed around the car where you get um, tar that comes up from the roads and can't. There's tons of construction, so there's all these little pieces of tar. And before, I would get a pretty thick towel and then a screwdriver or something sharp behind the towel and rub it for like 20 minutes, and it would finally come out. Well, a clay bar and a little bit of Z6, just five seconds, ten rubs, and it's gone. So that's definitely the way to do that. So uh, that'll make a real spring cleanup here in the next month or two uh, really nice. Lots of snow. Here, not here, south of here, about 10 miles they're getting snow. Colt's getting snow. Um, but we're pretty lucky. There's still some on the ground from a few days ago, but there's nothing new coming, I don't think, unless I wake up to a white surprise, which is which is never good. You guys got that. So that's it for today. Um, I just spent the last couple hours on the phone with Colt. We did a bunch of work for E39 Source. We both got an article up. Mine will be published in the next few days. I'm waiting on a part to come in. Actually, it's in. I have to go pick it up those knobs from Dave Walter, so that'll get done, but uh, today was a pretty progressive day, tomorrow's a short day, one class, 2.15 to 3.30, which means I can sleep into 1.30 if I have to, and it's 3 o'clock, I won't be in bed and asleep by, until 4-ish, so that's going to be it for today, I don't really think I got a lot of clips, so I apologize for that, but we'll talk tomorrow on Wednesday already, this week's flying by, and that's good, because these weeks in March need to get out of the way for summer, because summer's coming. Alright, talk to you guys tomorrow.